Hola, buenas tardes, good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. And it's about time I get into my grimoire. Thank you so much to all of those of you who left such kind comments on my grimoire setup video last week. I had so much fun putting this together and I got a lot of sweet comments from y'all telling me that, um, that y'all would love to see how I actually use um, my grimoire and how I set it up and um, I thought it would be fun to set up um, a page in my grimoire. So I am going to be setting up a spread um, in my moon magic section. So I have a bunch of different sections here and I'm gonna be setting up a spread for the full moon. Something that I've been wanting to do, uh, well actually, technically, I did start doing like full moon spreads, full moon and new moon spreads, um, but I just didn't really like how they were turning out and so I kind of dropped the practice, but I wanna get back into it. I wanna set up like a full moon spread for every single um, full moon, there's you know 12 different full moons. Each one occurs in a particular zodiac sign. So we're actually going to experience the full moon in Sagittarius this week, and hopefully, I am publishing it. <laughs> I am publishing this video that day. It's going to be Tuesday. So I'm going to set up a spread for. The full moon in Sagittarius, kind of detailing what that full moon is all about and such. So if you're interested in seeing how I set that up, just keep on watching. So this is going to be my moon magic section. So this was a planner when I purchased it and I am not going to be using these planner pages. So I'm just going to pull those out and put them in my stash. I can always reuse those, redate them. And I need some filler paper. So actually I might just grab some from... Um, from here I have a bunch kind of stashed in the beginning there so let me go back to moon magic so this section is gonna be moon magic I'm gonna pop in some filler paper in here and let me think hmm. yeah I can leave this here that's fine um, yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some adhesive just to tape these pages together. Um, so there we go. And well, actually this is gonna be a table of contents and then I am going to start the spread here and I'm gonna be using both pages. So that's fine that this is here. I wish it wasn't here. I wish it was just like these beautiful little pastel dots, but that's fine that we have that there. I might cover it with a sticker. We shall see. But uh, I'm going to be using this book, Moonology by Yasmin Bowand, Working with the Magic of Lunar Cycles. I read this quite a few years ago and I, I did like it. I feel like it's very much like a 101 on Moonology. It definitely gives you a really broad overview of what moon magic is and like the major events that happen, you know, like in the lunar cycle and the significance of each lunar cycle and it also goes over um, the different new moons and full moons as well and it provides a really like basic understanding of moon magic and um, each full moon and new moon so it was it was a good book i definitely did like it however i do think it was a little bit too 101 for me and so while i did like it and I did learn um, a good amount. I feel like it could have taken it a little bit further. I think that um, it was a little bit too narrow in its scope at times. And so, um, yeah, I, I, still, I still really like this book though. And I wanna continue to learn more about moon magic. So I, I want to uh, read, I think she has another book out and so I kind of want to read that one, but it was a good place to begin. If you don't know anything about moon magic, I think this is a really good place to begin. I want to uh, eventually like move this book along, like either resell it or pass it on to someone. And before I do that though, I kind of want to write down everything that I learned 
about the different like full moons and new moons. So that's the reason why uh, one reason to have a grimoire is that way you don't really have to keep like every single magical text in your library. You can just kind of write down the things that you found the most interesting, um, that you want to remember the most. You can just kind of take the highlights from each book and then you know everything that you find resonates with you because obviously not everything is going to resonate with you in a book like this. Um, there's definitely stuff in it that I didn't really feel was for me. So I just want to write down the information that I find most useful and and then keep it in my grimoire and then eventually like pass this book along to someone who wants to learn about moon magic or even because I read a lot and I have a lot of books, every year or so I go and um, resell my books at used bookstores and I make like you know around 70 to 80 dollars with like a whole huge box of books of all the books that I've read that year or like I'm getting rid of I'll go and resell the books and so that way um, I make a little money and I also you know declutter a little bit so I do want to pass this book along but before I pass it along I do want to write down some information here so what I'm going to do is, I think, set up the spread. I'm going to fast forward it and then I will come back once it's done and show you what I decided to do. So let me take these pages off the rings and let's get into it. All right, so we are done here. Very cute. I like how it turned out. Um, kind of simple, but that's totally fine. So I used the Unique Alpha Fonts sticker book from the Happy Planner to write out Full Moon In. At first I was just using pen to write in, but I didn't really like how it turned out, so I just whited it out and placed some stickers on top of that. I grabbed the Sagittarius sticker from the Zodiac sticker book, and all of these stickers are from that same Zodiac sticker book love these uh these clear stickers and then i set up um like the text section um and separated it into these three major sections the energy questions and reflections and message it's kind of loosely styled um like this it's kind of loosely styled just like this moonology book where it has one page per lunation so this is the full moon in sagittarius and it starts off saying that this full moon is especially good for aries gemini's leos Librans, sagittarians and aquarians but it's more challenging for everyone else and honestly i don't really feel like um like it's a very this that's a very helpful statement because everyone has various zodiac signs and energies within their natal chart so i'm a taurus sun i'm a leo moon and i'm an aquarius rising and so in this case it says that this is a good full moon for leos and an aquarians but it's challenging for everyone else so it's good for leo and aquarians which i'm a leo moon and aquarius rising so um, it'll be good for me in those aspects but then i'm a taurus sun so it's more challenging for me in that aspect and i just end up finding that it just kind of is a mixed bag for everyone because you're gonna have um some aspects of your of your natal chart um uh, that will find it a little bit more challenging and you'll have some other aspects that you'll find it a little bit more easy so i find it's just not very helpful so i tend to kind of ignore that part and then it gives you a little like 
brief statement of what the energy of the full moon is. And in this case, it's a fun energy. It may prompt many sighs of relief. I also reference um, other like online astrology websites for information. So I kind of added a couple of things onto this page. So instead of just saying fun, I wrote expansive and adventurous because I find that to be true as well as like other online resources that I like to read and learn from kind of listed it more as I mean, expansive adventurous energy. So I just added those there. So you can see kind of how I'm combining different sources of information as well as my own information into this page to create my custom full moon and Sagittarius page. And that's kind of what the grimoire is all about is that you're creating your own knowledge and compiling it in your own customized way so so that it's perfect for you. And then this book goes on then to list top five questions. I love these questions. It kind of gives you like the main um, kind of takeaways for that for the full moon in question. So the questions here are, have I been too flippant or carefree to the point of being careless, irresponsible even? Have I been letting myself down by allowing myself to get distracted and bored? Have I been overconfident to the point of arrogance or too preachy? Have I been a commitment phobe to my own detriment? Have I been seeing the bigger picture? And these are questions that go hand in hand with the full moon and Sagittarius energy. So these are things that you might want to reflect on because the energy in this full moon is really kind of bringing these issues to the front and center. And I actually kind of modified some of these questions because I find like, sometimes I find, you know, the modified versions of questions to be a little bit more reflective of what how I experience the full moon and Sagittarius. So I changed a couple of these here. So the second one I changed a little bit. I said, have I been letting myself down by allowing myself to get distracted by fun over completing my responsibilities? Um, I also changed the third question completely. I put, have I denied myself freedom and adventure? And then the fourth question, um, I just put, have I been avoiding commitment? And then the fifth question is the exact same as the one in the monology book. Have I been seeing the bigger picture? So I modify a little bit to kind of fit my needs and how I perceive and um, receive the full moon in Sagittarius. And then the last couple of sections in the monology book, it gives you a message. Life is an adventure. Don't stagnate. And it also gives you a find a balance between speaking your mind and saying far too much. And then it also gives you... Um, the forgive section, which basically each one of the full moons just tells you to perform the full moon forgiveness ceremony, which is exactly the same for all of the full moons. So this section and this be grateful section is exactly the same for every single um, full moon. It gives you a, yeah, a forgive and a be grateful section. And I find those to be not specific to the full moon and Sagittarius in this book. So what I did was I just gave myself an overall message section, which I kind of took from a little bit from the Moonology book and also a little bit from Cafe Astrology Online. I really like their um, resources. And so the message for Full Moon and Sagittarius is life is an adventure. Don't stagnate. This lunation reminds us of the need to reach out beyond our usual routines, thought patterns, and neighborhoods. This is the time of expansion and higher learning, so dwell only on those concepts you wish to promote. So again, I combined moonology, cafe astrology, and a little bit of my own experiences with full moon and Sagittarius into this to create my personalized message. And that is it. We are done here. So... I like how it turned out, really simple, uh, minimal decoration, but enough to kind of keep it cute and keep it interesting. The main focus is the information here. I'm interested in perhaps expanding the full moon spread onto the second page here. I can kind of see um, maybe writing out like, you know, a couple of things to focus on, maybe like go stargazing or like read uh, or start a new book or like visit a bookstore because Sagittarius is a sign of learning and higher education. Maybe list a couple of things like to do or something. And then maybe a couple of more like pieces here. Just, yeah, maybe maybe what I'll do is leave this page blank and um, just keep it 
just keep it blank so that in the event that I want to write more here, I have that space. I was thinking of maybe doing the new moon in Sagittarius here and then having full moon and new moon right next to each other, but I kind of want to leave this page here so that if I want to continue to write about the full moon in Sagittarius, if I learn more information, I have space here. I mean, the nice thing about, you know, Happy Planner is that if I do, you know, decide to write the new moon in Sagittarius here, but then I find out I want to write more about the full moon, I can just, you know, um, pop in a new page of filler paper and then have space to write. That is the beauty of the disc bound system. So that is it. Um, yeah, I had fun putting this together. Um, once I get all of the, you know, the full moons and new moons and all the lunar, you know, all the information that I want to get out of this book into my grimoire, once it's like transmuted, transformed into my grimoire, I can get rid of this book, pass it on to someone and have that out of my library. But this is an example of how I use my grimoire. I hope you enjoyed checking this video out. Um, let me know how you're celebrating the full moon in Sagittarius. I hope it's a, it's a good one for you. And um, I'll see you in my next video. Until then, happy planning. Bye.